So I'm going to show you my thought process on this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and mute this kick. Okay, so it's set up exactly how Fox had it with the Pro MB, a little clipper going on. Um, just let me make sure everything is okay. Okay, so I put a phase shifter, so I inverted the polarity on uh, this clipper, and then this one doesn't have that. So uh, you're not going to hear anything until I start to clip. Then you start to hear the parts that are only clipped. If we do an AB with the kick and the sub, so like something like this, this is together, and then this is only the kick. Wait, this is only the kick. And then with the sub, you do see the waveform gets louder. There is a bit more punch to it but you're not going into the tonal elements. If you go into the tonal elements of the sub with the clipper, it would sound like this. And you can see all that distortion. That is not okay. You would fuck your mix up really badly. Um, for example, if I'm gonna take the phase shift off, you're gonna see a squared sort of a looking sub. Right, that sub squared. But if I only go to right here, how it was before, the non-tonal part, sub is clean as day. It's not getting distorted in a way that you would tell in your final mix, okay? So what that means is this is pretty transparent. The problem I have with this method is not the clipping, is not the distortion caused by the clipping. That is neg negligible. You will not hear that in a final mix. Um, it's not real, like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, my problem with it is that completely ducking the volume will sound a lot better and you're not going to lose that power in your kick like Fox had mentioned. So if I was to go to ducking, it would look like this. And you can see that kick is completely consistent. Yes, it's squared off, but that's what EDM kicks look like. The sub is not getting distorted. Kick's getting clipped, sub really is not. This would be the cleanest way to sidechain. The problem with this is you don't want to reduce your volume all the time. Maybe in hip hop or rock and roll, you want to keep that um, the low end. You don't want this whole signal to be ducking out of the way. You don't want that pump sound. So this is where you use the Pro MB method. And I'll show you just a side by side or man, a, a B, this is what it sounds like with no side chaining, no multiband side chaining. Hold up. Oh yeah, this is frozen, that's why I wasn't playing. Okay, this is no multiband side chaining. Lots of distortion with multi-band side chain a lot less distortion my problem again though you're losing this part of the kick when you're doing band specific side chaining and that's a problem with any sort of band specific side chaining this method i find to be the most clean one rather than putting like a high pass or a low pass or a band pass and then side chaining specifically the sub you're going to run into an inconsistent kick the kick is going to be different every time it hits with this method the kick is the same every time it hits it's going to look like this every single time but it's lacking and that's where he says you can bust the old kick back in and let's do that real quick and you're gonna see it fills up very nice okay we're gonna we're gonna clip this like it's the last clipper in the mix too and look the, the sub is still not being distorted the kick looks a lot different that's a pretty shitty transient in my opinion should not look that way but you can you can do it to taste right and if you really wanted, you could begin to start shaping the kick. 
so it's not that crazy looking transient and so maybe you fade in or something you see where I'm going with that like you could really dial it in to maybe get that flat kick back similar to how the the cleanest ducking side chain method would be but um yeah that's just my two cents on it you can't have your cake and eat it too type thing but I do feel this would be the cleanest method uh if you do want to go down the multi-band route let me know your thoughts if I'm missing anything um, yeah, but again, you're not clipping into the tonal element. It's not going to be, it's pretty much going to be a transparent thing in your mix. And with and without the clipper, so that's without, or not clipper, I mean multi-band sidechain. And then this is with. You can tell there's less distortion with it. It's doing its job, okay? You don't have to use it. This is just like how I how I went about it.